Welcome back. This is MLOps Zoom Camp Session 6. And in this session, we are talking about best engineering practices. So far, we covered unit tests and integration tests. Unit tests are usually tests that you use to test functions. So these are examples of such unit tests. We used PyTest for doing them. And then we also created an integration test where we run the service inside Docker. And then we have a Python script that we execute to make sure that the result this service in Docker returns is what we expect. So this was an integration test we wrote, but we didn't test one thing. We didn't test the Kinesis connection. We didn't test the, the thing that puts the responses to a Kinesis stream. So this is the part of the code here in uh, model, this Kinesis callback. This is what we want to test in this video. And for doing this, we will use a thing called local stack. So local stack, this, uh, as you see, it says a fully functional local AWS cloud stack. Yeah, I don't know how fully functioning it is. I think it is, but all the services I used from local stack for testing things locally, they work really well. So let's use that. And for that here, uh, yeah, there are different ways of installing this. So you can just install it with pip. I want to use Docker Compose. So in Docker Compose, I don't see an example of Docker Compose YAML file here. Let me just go here and create one. So it will be, we'll call this thing Kinesis. Image will be uh, local stack. So this one, local stack slash local stack. Uh, port, uh, ports that we will need to open are, so we will actually need to open this port. So this is the port where we'll send a request to, or Boto3 will send request to. When we try to put things to Kinesis, and yeah, we also need to specify an environmental variable called services, I think. Yeah, so services is the list of services that we want to run in local stack. And we just care about one service, which is Kinesis, right? So when we do something like this, it says start only a Kinesis server. Don't start anything else. I don't know if we need anything else here. So let me quickly test that this thing is working. For that, uh, am I in the right directory? So let me go to integration tests. So I'm integration test and I will do docker compose up and I only want to start Kinesis. So when I write Kinesis, it will start only this part. So let me test it. Yeah, it's kind of not important, but let me... So it complains that uh, for this thing, there is nothing. I don't know how it's important right now because we are trying to run this part, but to make it happy, let me just do expert123, uh, whatever. Yeah, now it doesn't care. Yeah, what it's doing now, it's downloading local stack. Yeah, I don't know why it looks like that, but okay, whatever. So it's downloading the image from Docker Hub and it will run it right now, and then we can test it. Okay. Uh, I think it's ready to start and we will use AWS CLI. So in AWS, the way we usually use AWS, for example, for Kinesis is uh, we do AWS Kinesis and I don't know, list, list uh, streams, I think. And then it will return that uh, the response is there are no streams. Actually, there are no streams in my account because after recording that video, I deleted the streams. They cost some money, so I didn't want to keep them. That's why I deleted the streams. And this actually goes to my AWS account and checks what are the streams there. But I don't want to use my account. I want to use local stack. And for that, I can say that instead of going to AWS, instead of going to the endpoint that is there for communicating with AWS, go to my local endpoint. And I think it's endpoint URL, maybe like that. And the endpoint URL will be HTTP localhost. And then the port is this one. And yeah, let's see if it works. Yeah, it didn't complain about anything and it actually went to local stack and it said, okay, there is nothing, there are no streams. And to make sure that this actually, this thing actually works, uh, let me copy this thing so you have it in readme. Yeah, to make sure that this actually works, let us create a stream and then we should be able to see this with local stack and there should be nothing in my AWS account. For that, we will use Kinesis. I think it's create a stream. 
let me just type help to see help um, there should be an example you create stream stream name and chart count so these are the parameters we need to specify so i'll copy this thing here so it will be kinesis create stream and then stream name will be now let me copy this stream name will be what's the stream name for us right predictions and chart count is one so this should now create a stream but in local stack not in aws so i will execute right now and now when i execute this thing oh not this one thing sorry when i execute list streams now we have a stream right but if i remove endpoint url then yeah it's still nothing so in my aws account there is nothing but in local stack there is a stream now we need to somehow configure our code to access this endpoint so instead of trying to connect to endpoint in aws it should go to local stack for that let us create a special environmental variable for this i'll call it kinesis endpoint url it will be http then the name of the service so within docker compose we can refer to different services using this name right so it will go to this uh, container here to this port and it will just use this right and if when we are outside of the network that was created by docker compose then we need to use localhost but inside the network we refer to the thing we want to connect by its name from here and we need to somehow use this use this variable now so i will go to our model we have this uh, where we create kinesis client client so i'll create a function i'll call it create kinesis client and i will use something like we did previously i'll check first if os get env if this thing is actually set uh, maybe and point here also first i'll save it to a variable and then i see if it's set if endpoint is non so it's not set then i just return this thing so i'll use this create kinesis client yeah so i'll just do return this but if it is set when i will return this thing and i will set the endpoint url endpoint url i think this is the syntax underscore yeah like that so let's try to to run it yeah and to actually run it so what i will also do is um, where's our run so i will remove docker compose down we will send a request and uh, the service should write something to kinesis stream so that's why i don't want to uh, tear it down i want to access the kinesis stream and see that something was actually written there let me remove this thing as well yeah and one more thing we actually need to create a kinesis stream so now i will stop it and the kinesis stream is gone right so we actually need to create a stream every time we run our integration test so i will just copy this thing here and put it to our uh, run so here we start uh, the services we start the backend service and we start the kinesis service so now this aws should work and this is our stream name so i'll call it export how do we call it here prediction stream name so i will do something like this so now it is configurable and then this is the name of the stream we create and because we export it will also like docker compose will pick it up and put it here and then uh, it's no longer a test run so we actually wanted to send things to kinesis yeah i think that's pretty much it let's see how it works i will not i don't think i need to change anything else yeah let's run it So it started backend it started kinesis now we're sleeping waiting for one second and it should send a request so the response is good and we still have so if we do docker docker ps these things are still running there so we have local stack there and we have the model yeah so they are still running so we can actually list streams so we see that uh, our stream is there and now we can see if something is in the stream so because we put something the way we did it last time so let me 
open our readme so it was the deployment one streaming and readme yeah this this long thing so i will i will not copy it completely because for testing that our things are in the stream in the kinesis stream we will not use cli we will use python but just to see that it's there let us quickly check it and a kinesis stream output i think i should use this prediction stream name i think i forgot to specify it because it was specified inside the script that's right i think i need to export it or maybe not maybe i don't need and then another thing i forgot to do is i forgot to add the endpoint endpoint url this is this one Okay, let me check it. Yeah, now we get the shard iterator. Copy this for reference. So we get the shard iterator, and now we can use this shard iterator to see what is inside. I will copy this thing, shard iterator. Then uh, let me copy this. I forgot to add the URL, right? So we have this. So let me, I will just do echo and then base 64 decode and this is our prediction so this thing works now we just need to figure out how we can test this automatically and uh, let me do docker compose down and for testing this for doing this we will use boto3 and we can just have another script here and this script could be test key and here in this script, we will do the same thing as we did in the command line here. Uh, probably here, yeah. We will get a shard iterator, then we will get records from uh, the shard, we will decode data, and then we will make sure that the data we are getting matches what we need. Yeah, this script is kind of long. I don't want to type the entire script, and I don't remember most of the commands there. So what I want to do is I want to use a script I already prepared. Let me copy and paste it here, and then I'll just explain what each line of this code does, and then we can run it. Okay, so this is the script for testing this. We configured the endpoint. So let me actually check that in this end, we use the same yeah, kinesis endpoint URL. So yeah, we use Boto3 to communicate to Kinesis, and we want to make sure we communicate with local stack, not with AWS. Then the stream name, actually, mm, it should be, let me also make it configurable. It's prediction stream name. Right, and then shard ID, because we have only one shard, it's always this shard. Then we get shard iterator. So this is very similar to what we do here. We get shard iterator. Uh, here yeah this one so this is how we get it with water 3 so we have shard iterator i think it's more like shard iterator id or whatever and yeah we get the records and then we print these records these records will be in the same format as we see here like that right and then we will load the thing we will decode it and uh, yeah, here we have expected record so something we expect to see so this is very similar to what we do here, right? So this expected response, it's very similar to this one. It's because it's the same request, so the response should be the same as well. And let me actually copy it here from here because I don't remember the one I copied before. It's slightly different. And then I will use the same diff here. And yeah, it should be actual record and expected record. Yeah, that's the test. So it's pretty similar to what we did before, except this logic of getting the response from Kinesis is a little bit involved. But good thing that we didn't need to worry about these things when we were creating a consumer in Lambda, because Lambda takes care of all that. So when we deploy a Lambda function, internally it gets this shard iterator, it gets these records, and it does it automatically. So we don't need to worry about this at all. Okay, let, let us modify this script. So now we want to add this to the integration test as well. So first of all, if this thing returns with an error code, there is no point continuing the test, right? So we can just exit here. 
and also we need to do docker compose down right? so if the, this thing fails we just exit the test but if this thing doesn't fail then we can run another test which is test kinesis we will run it in the same way so let me just copy the entire thing actually but instead of test docker we'll use test key kinesis and yeah it's the same thing here so if something fails let us see the logs then let us stop the containers and let us exit and then if everything is fine we yeah just do docker compose down and then it will automatically exit with the zero code let's run it so here i did docker compose down so nothing should be running yeah nothing is there so let me run it and yeah i'm really curious how it will work now because we haven't tested this before and it seems it's working well so this is the response we get from kinesis and for some reasons it's not base 64 encoded i don't know when it is doing encoding when, it, when it's not here in this particular case local stack does not require us to do decoding from base 64 so we just take this as is and parse it with json so we get the predictions here this is the prediction and then we compare it with the expected thing and yeah we see that everything is good and then we finish the test now we have actually two tests uh, two sets of tests so one is uh, let me go back so one set of tests is the uh, the unit tests which we run using pipenv run uh, pytest tests we, we run this test and then the second set of tests is uh, we have two or one end-to-end -end test which tests uh, the responses from docker and then that it writes what we need to kinesis and we can execute this using this integration test run sh so far so good we covered our service with tests and next i want to talk about a few things so first i want to talk about checking for code quality so there are things called linters that let us spot mistakes in the code and then another thing formats the code in the way we want so instead of formatting it manually it will just format automatically then also it's quite annoying that we need to do this what if i forget to do pip and run what if uh, like i don't remember where test is there is a thing called make files so i can just do make run tests or make run all tests and then it will run first unit tests and then integration tests so i want to show you how to use make for doing this and this is something we will explore in the next videos so i think it will be maybe two or three of them so see you soon